Hi you guys, so I'm here with my weekly mail. Not too much this week. I had a couple big exams to focus on, so talk about that later, I guess. Do like a little update at the end. All right, so um, a couple things that I got in the mail. All right, so I got the mic in. Um, can you tell a difference? I'm gonna have to listen and see if I can tell a difference. I have been using it lately ever since I got it, actually. So, <coughs> all right. So the first thing that I got, um, I do get offers for diffusers quite often and I just don't get them anymore because I do have so many and then I do give them like I've given them to my coworkers and my daughter's grandma and actually I have another one. I forgot, completely forgot. I have to, I have to put it in my car today. I have to bring her another one because the other one she got died. But anyway, um, so I got this diffuser, not diffuser, humidifier. So this one also changes colors. I don't know if it shows you on the box. No, it doesn't. But it does change colors and everything. I could have used this a couple of weeks ago when we were all sick in this house with the flu. But um, I thought it was pretty cool. It's not that big. It's big, obviously, because the size of the box. But it's not humongous. Like you see the ones in the store, sometimes they're really, really big. So I am going to use it. Actually, I think I'm going to test it out tonight. Um, next I got is there was a giveaway on Facebook and they said if you wanted to try this product you send them a little message and they would send you this particular product so and it's from OC8 it says professional mattifying gel so um, they sent over like two little tiny packets in here okay so they sent over two little tiny samples they just look like this and um, there's like these little things on the pamphlet that says that they used them during American Idol on the contestants and they were surprised that it worked so well at mattifying and maintaining their skin really nice and um, oil free. So I am excited to try that. I'm always looking for something to help mattify my skin because I do wear my makeup all day sometimes because I don't get home till super late sometimes. But so let's see how that goes. Next I got this 100% um, pure organic rose water toner um, and this is from I don't know sky sky organics I think that's what it says so it just looks like this um, I do love some rose water so I'm excited to have this I'm gonna try it right now actually oh that's a nice one. Oh, this is a good rose water that's really really that's a really nice one so the ingredients is just 100% pure organic rose I don't know how to pronounce the word um, distill it so it's steamed and distilled so really really nice I like that one a lot okay um, the next one I got is from one company I've done reviews for them before um, so they ended up just sending me a few more items so they sent me over this mascara I hope it's it's waterproof volume mascara hopefully it's not a color I don't know what I'm hoping it's just black and then they sent over this top coat mega shine nail lacquer uh, what is this rose golden rose sheer shine stilo lips whatever it is okay so it's just like a neutral color oh it's really really pretty look at that it's really really pretty so it's a sheer um, lipstick this is retractable, retractable, no, not retractable, retractable lip brush. This is a body and face diamonds powder. It comes in this package here. Uh, I'm not sure what it says. Press a few times at first use. Oh, okay. What is this? I don't know, but it has like a brush on one end. It's just like a, it's, oh, I guess the powder is coming out of it already. <laughs> so you press it a couple times. Oh, okay. Oh, it's sparkly powder. Whoa, a lot of powder came out. I don't know how this thing works, but I accidentally, I guess I pressed too much. You can see like the powder build up right here so I guess I pressed it too much I don't know I've never used anything like this so I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> it 
So it gives you like a golden shimmer all over. I didn't know what I was doing. I guess it's for your body, right? Is that what I read? Body and face. I don't know if I would put this all over my face, but okay. And then you slide this up to so that you don't ruin the brush when you stick the lid back on. So that's pretty cool. The brush is okay. If you're going to use it for your body, it's fine. But for your face, I don't know. I'm going out. Do I want to put this on my face? I don't know. I can't tell in the camera, but we'll see later what I look like in real life. So, okay. That's cool, I guess. It doesn't smell, but like, yeah, I can see like little sparkles and stuff like that. Okay. What else did I get? Oh. So that was review stuff. I, I'm telling you, I didn't get much. I'm going to show you the last thing, which was from Ulta, which is this thing. Um, and that's the last thing, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So if you're done, you can finish watching here. If not, just keep watching for my little rambling about this and maybe some other stuff. Um, and then I did the 21 Days of Beauty. I wanted to get the that um, spray for your face. I forgot what it's called. Um, from Smashbox, the primer water. But by the time I had it in my cart, I was going to get two bottles. And then I forgot about it. And then by the time I got home, it was like around seven o'clock at night and it was sold out. So I didn't, I missed out on it. I was, you know, you snooze or you lose. Um, and then I wanted to try this one out, the Cero Vital High HGH. So I wanted to get it because of two reasons. Um, I was reading the reviews on Ulta and I think I kind of trust the reviews on Ulta because a lot of times you can't, if it's on like their website, I don't know if I actually trust the reviews on the product, the manufacturer's website, because maybe they sent them for a review and maybe the reviewers are not honest because I do know that there's a lot of people that do reviews that are not honest. There's a lot of reviewers that are not honest. And, um, and then so, but on Ulta, there's no reason because I know Ulta gives certain people certain, you know, monies to get stuff from Ulta. But I don't think like vitamins is one of the things that they, they like promote. So anyway, so the reviews on Ulta, some of them are really poor. Some of them are excellent. A lot of them are excellent. Um, and I got it because uh, a lot of people were saying that it takes pain away and it makes you feel really, really good. Um, and the other effect is a little bit of weight loss, which I could use a little bit because I put on since I started school, um, a bunch of weight. And on top of that, it's supposed to be really good for your skin, for anti-aging properties and take out fine lines and stuff like that. So it had lots and lots of benefits. Now, um, when I got it, I didn't read very clearly. This is really expensive, my, by the way. Normally I had been contemplating getting this for over a year, but I didn't because it's a hundred bucks for one box and it's for 30 days. So a hundred dollars for 30 days. It's really, really expensive. So I didn't want to get it. So anyway, um, I didn't read it very well. I thought it was that you would take um, two pills in the morning and two pills at night. I don't know why I thought that, but that's what I thought um, on an empty stomach. And I was reading the information. It's just saying like on the information, it's saying that it is extremely important for you to have an empty stomach for, for this to work for you. So you cannot eat or drink two hours before or two hours after. So they're basically saying before you go to bed, make sure you didn't eat anything two hours before you go to bed, then you can take it and go to bed. Or as soon as you wake up in the morning and make sure you do not eat for two hours after taking this pill. So <clears throat> I figured for me, it's easier. As soon as I wake up, I take it. My stomach is normally very sensitive when it comes to taking pills that I'll get really, really sick to my stomach if I don't eat anything with the pill. So I was really a little uh, about it, but so far so good. I haven't had any effects of it making me nauseous or anything like that on an empty stomach. Um, but they come like, they come in these little packets like this. And in each packet, there's four capsules and you're supposed to take all four of these capsules at the same time. I am so terrible about taking pills and especially if they're capsules, these things like to get stuck in my throat. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take them and then I'll take a bite of food to help it make sure that it goes all the way down and doesn't get stuck in the middle of my throat. Um, so I've been taking it just for a couple days, like three, four days, something like that. 
Um, and it's okay. I don't know if I can tolerate it for the whole month. I'm gonna try my best to take it for the whole month and see. Most of the reviews are saying, you know, you have to wait and take it for at least two months for you to see the difference on how you feel, um, how your skin looks. Um, not too much about the weight. It's more so about your skin and your feeling. Um, and it gives you like a happier mood. I can say that uh, I haven't really seen a difference. Again, it's only been a couple of days. Um, I do have like um, thyroid issues. Um, my thyroid is a little bit, you know, low in levels. Um, and I used to take um, Synthroid back in the day and I just quit taking it just because I just didn't go back to the doctor to get a prescription, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. So, um, and I'm thinking, I just recently had some labs done and I had my thyroid levels a little bit low. Um, so I was thinking, well, maybe that's contributing to my weight loss. I mean, weight gain, not weight loss. So um, I have been taking um, the Synthroid again and I don't know if it's this or the scent notice that I have been so peppy lately, like happy peppy, not energetic peppy, um, just like feel good peppy. Um, so I don't know if that's the Synthroid or if that's this, um, but I noticed that lately I have been feeling really, really good and it's been really, really nice feeling so good. Um, if anybody have, if any of you have taken this, please let me know, or if you know somebody that has taken it, um, what are your opinions on it? I would really, really, really like to know um, if someone that I kind of, that I, you know, I obviously, I don't know you personally, but I guess I can, I kind of know you guys if, you know, if you guys talk to me through the comment mm -hmm. section and stuff like that, but I, I really value your opinions. So um, if you, like I said, if you have taken it or you know somebody, let me know what they've said or what you, what your experience has been with it. So I only got the Cerevital and then they sent over a, just a couple little samples. Actually, it's only two samples. They're getting a little chintzy. Are they saying that um, these things are samples? I don't know. Like this, oh, I have this perfume. It's excellent. Um, I have this guy that comes to my job and he sells like all kind of stuff. And this is a great perfume. I have it right there. Can you see it in the camera? No, it's right off, it's like, right over here on the side. You can't see it up on my dresser, but I have some perfumes that I really love and I keep it right there so I can put it on right before I walk out of my room. It's a great perfume, love it. All right, now time for a little bit of chit chat. So, oh, this is just random stuff. No, you know, whatever comes to the top of my head. Um, so I was in the grocery store yesterday, getting groceries, obviously, um, and the bag boy that was there, you know, at Publix or at the grocery stores, normally they're like really old or really young, like high school or just out of high school or something like that. So the kid is bagging up my stuff and he sees like, um, they have like this bread that is kind of like a cheese bread, but it's like a big loaf that you get from the bakery. <clears throat> so this bread was on the very bottom of my cart because that's the first spot that I went to and I completely forgot about it and it was on the bottom. And he's like, oh, well, I noticed that you have bread at the bottom. Do you want me to go and exchange it for you? And I said, ah, don't worry about it. I got a bunch of teenage boys at the house right now. Um, I don't think they care about what it looks like. And I go, right? Because, you know, he's young. And he goes, yeah, that's true. We don't really care. We just, um, it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it tastes good. And I was like, okay, good. So he's doing my groceries, whatever. <clears throat> and then he says, he goes, did you say you have kids? And I'm like, yes. And he goes, oh. And I go, I got three. I said, I have a 16, a 13, and a five-year-old. And he goes, oh, I thought you were my age or our age. The cashier was her, his age as well. <clears throat> he goes, I thought you were our age. And I go, no, but thank you. <laughs> Can you believe that? Maybe the cerebital is working. <laughs> so anyway, that was yesterday. So I was like, oh, I feel good now. And that was at the end of the day when I'm all beat up looking. Um, so school school I finished with my anatomy and my anatomy physiology lab and my microbiology lab those were super duper easy in the school that I'm at we have labs that you do like kind of online like uh, I don't know doing like the experiments online and it's basically participation you show up and you get credit for showing up um, because they didn't have like physical labs for anybody to do so those two, obviously, I passed, so two down. Um, 
my oral communications class that's going really well I'll, I'll pass that class for sure and now the other two I have algebra and I have anatomy and physiology too so algebra we only have two exams in that that course and how they grade in the school that I'm going to is <clears throat> basically you get 10% for like participation and assignments if they've given you any assignments. Um, some classes don't give you any assignments and they give you the 10% for whatever. It's like a freebie kind of thing, I guess. If you participate in class and you show up in class, you'll get the full 10% credit. So I think, I feel comfortable that I'm gonna get the complete 10% in both of those, all three of those classes. Um, and in algebra, we have two exams, which we took, I took one exam and in this school, you pass. It's not like you get A, B, C, D, F. It's you pass or you fail, pretty much. If you get a 78 or higher, you've passed that test. If you get lower, it's an F, regardless of if it's 77.5 or 4, 77.4, because they'll round up. Um, so you pass or fail. So my algebra exam, I got 70, um, 70, it came out to be 78 with the rounding or whatever. So I passed by <laughs> like right there on the cusp. That's okay, I passed. That's the first exam. So I have one more exam to do and then that's it. So I've been working really hard on doing the assignments because I do have assignments in, and I hear tell, and she even said it, if you don't get 100% on every single one of those assignments, you're not gonna get your 10%, complete 10%. You might get 99.2% and those 0.8% you might fail because you didn't put that extra effort in. So <clears throat> I'm working really hard on that. It's not easy, algebra sucks. Um, my anatomy and physiology, there are four exams in total. I've done three. The first one, I've already talked about that in previous vlogs, that um, professor was pff, nuts. Um, so he's no longer. And then we had the, the next professor for the next exam. Um, and I got an 80 on that exam and I just took the other exam um, Thursday and I got a 76 huh heartbreaking I missed it by one question because each question was two points so I'm hoping that he'll curve the grade a little bit and bump me back up but um, my first exam was super super low I got 69 um, on that exam but everybody else was like 33% 44% everybody was failing that one so I kind of like that kind of sucks because I would be like passing for sure if it wasn't for that first exam. Um, I studied really hard. It just it just didn't it just didn't come to me. I don't know. I, I you know test taking has never been my forte. Like I'm I'm good at class. I'm good at I understand it. I got it. But when it comes to tests, I doubt myself every single time. I try not to go back and try to answer questions differently. I've done that in the past and I've answered them correctly initially and changed the changed the answer and it was wrong. And I'm like, why did I do that? I know I should have not done it, but I felt like I was wrong, so I needed to change it. But, and I did that on my last exam where I got the 80. Um, I changed, I think it was three questions that I changed and I shouldn't have changed because they were correct. So that sucked. Um, so I, I think my problem is, is that I'm taking three main classes right now. And if it's not an exam in this class or an exam in this class or whatever, it's just like a battle. And I can't focus on one class. If I, if I was just taking anatomy alone, I would be like perfect. Or algebra alone, perfect. But trying to split up my days, I'm working full time, going to school full time. Um, and you know, I got three kids and I have, I have life. Everybody has life. Um, so sometimes I'll get home and I'm just so tired and I just want to sleep because I haven't slept. If anybody knows websites that you can go to, I'm using the Khan Academy right now, um, that you can go to where you can um, do like test questions on algebra. <clears throat> um, um, that would be great. So school is about to end. I have, um, what is it, three more weeks to go for this semester and I'll be done. Can you guys believe it? I have waited 22 years to go back to school. 
and I'm going to be done with my first semester. I am so excited about actually being done and getting a break. I'm going to order me another HelloFresh box. How about that? I haven't done HelloFresh too much because of school. I haven't had time. But um, when I know that there's been there's going to be a break in school, I'll get a HelloFresh box because I know I have time to cook it for my family and stuff like that. Um, I've done a couple of Hello family size HelloFresh. Have you guys seen it? Huh, look at the Instagram. I'm gonna. Um, I have one that I'm gonna be editing and putting up. Oh my gosh, I have never not liked a HelloFresh box. I got some hate mail or not hate mail, hate comments on a couple of my HelloFresh box uh, videos. Um, people, you know, people are so rude sometimes. They're like, oh, why don't you get off your lazy beep beep or whatever and uh, go to the store. Don't be so lazy and just wait, for, like pretty much saying, don't wait for it to come to you in the mail. Get off your butt, go to the store, go get your ingredients and make your food for your, you know, make the food. It didn't say nothing about your family or nothing like that, but whatever. And I was just like, this guy or girl is a complete fool. Because, think about it, I've said, I've said it in the past, let's say the two-person meal, I'm not even going to talk about the family size meal, let's say the two-person meal, what is it, $69 for three meals for the week. Each one of those meals is supposed to feed two people. It actually feeds like three people in my household. So let's say you go out to dinner or whatever three times a week with uh, three people. In my household, we have five, so, you know, whatever. Two of my kids don't eat that stuff. They, they're, they're not interested. Just my oldest and, and the grown-ups. So, us alone, you're going out, if you break it down, let's say, what is that, 30, th I mean, $13 a meal per person, right, for the two, um, you're not going to go anywhere for $13 and get a meal like that with all those fresh ingredients and these are just not like burgers and and french fries these are really nice meals there's no way that i'm going to go out to a restaurant um spend my gas to go to the re restaurant order the meal which probably is like 20 something dollars a plate um or maybe a little bit less or a little bit more depending on where you're going this is a great deal people are saying oh it's too expensive it's too expensive it's it's not it's really really not if you think about it you're gonna go out to a restaurant you're gonna spend more than sixty dollars to go and eat at a nice place you're spending sixty nine dollars for three meals for two people and in my case three people that's nothing that is nothing think about it you know People don't think right. They really don't. They're just like, okay, I'm just gonna have ramen noodles and every single day and I'm saving money. No, I wanna eat something nice, please. Hm. All right, you guys, so camera cut off. I guess that's it, I need to stop talking. Um, that's it, that's all I got in the mail. That's all I'm gonna chit chat about. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.